Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sheila Russell, and this is YNN. We have an exclusive interview with the principal of YBH, who is joining us now live from the new building in Sayak, New Jersey. Good evening, Rabbi, and thank you for joining us. Rabbi, you're on the air. Seems like we have some technical difficulties locating the principal. He what? We have breaking news. It seems like YBH is on search for a new principal. Here is Ethan Nissel joining us live from right outside the YBH building with more information. Yes, Shiro, we did just confirm the breaking news that the school is looking for a new principal. Thank you, Ita. It seems that the news caught the school by surprise. Some students seem to be confused over the issue. While others reacted with sadness. Some students were very quick to start the search for a new principal. Scott, are you qualified to be the next principal? And we're looking for a new principal, right? Principal? Yeah. Oh, principal is a good man. Would good. you like to be the principal? The uh, principal in uh, school, yes. Everything is good. School. Do you know the school's looking for a new principal? Yes. Would you like to be the new principal? Yeah. Why do you qualify to be the new principal? Well, I've been knowing this school for five years, and I've moved from the old building to the new building. Do you know the school's looking for a new principal? Yes, I do. Would you like to be the new principal? Yes. You would? Why do you qualify to be the new principal? Because I'll help them to learn my title and mitzvah. <laughs> and it's a smash thing. Mr. Mayim. How would you make the school better? I would, uh, more recess to make... And gym. more coffee and gym more not decaf, but more gym because they get, get to run around a lot and uh, the big schluss in the name of uh, Rav, uh, yeah. Also, what would you do to improve the school? Free food, uh, cereals are good. Uh, we get out. <laughs> they don't get stolen. Nope. And the box tops are not taken for the school. Yeah. The milk is not spoiled. And we get out at 12. Ah, uh, thank you. Do you know the school's looking for a new principal? Yes. Would you like to be the new principal? Yes. What makes you qualify to be the new principal? I've been in military school for five years. Well, I would like to send the boys back to the old school. I think I will let somebody else have the job. You know we're looking for a new principal, right? Such is the rumor that's been going around. Would you like to be the new principal? I'm afraid I must decline. My schedule is a little too busy painting and coloring and building things, so I have no time. I'm so sorry. You know, we're looking for a new principal, right? Yes, I do. Would you like to be the new principal? Absolutely. What makes you qualified to be the principal? If there could be a woman in the White House, there could be a list house at YBH. You know, we're looking for a new principal, right? Yes. Would you like to be the new principal? No. <laughs> You know we're looking for a new principal, right? Yes, I know. Would you like to be the new principal? Not in a million years. Would you like to be the new principal? Never. Would you like to be the principal? Let me think about that. No. You know we're looking for a new principal, right? Oh, we are? Wait, would you like to be the principal? What, are you crazy? I'll uh, definitely enforce the dress code and make sure that all the girls have their shirts tucked in at all times. Others seem to be satisfied with the current situation. This student, who prefers to remain nameless, had the following to say. The good thing about not having a principal is whenever I get in trouble and I get sent to the principal's office, I get the whole office to myself. I'm Ethan Nissel, live from YBH, and this is YNN. Back to you, Shira, in the studio. The staff of YBH offer a very warm welcome to the potential candidates for principal seat. Go away. Go away. Go away. They also express their view on what to do to make the principal stay a little longer. Um, the principal. Um, I would. Hmm. Um. That's a tough question. Uh. 
Um, it's a good question. Hmm. You don't really want me to answer <laughs> that, do you? Mrs. Cher, Principal of General Studies at YBH, claims to have no strings attached to this. But does she? Some of the most influential people in the YBH community have agreed to come and talk to us about this important issue. First, we go to Mr. Michael Freeman, Director of Building Operations at YBH, who has joined us now live. Good evening, Mr. Freeman. How does it feel to come to work knowing that there is no principal? It's hard to describe. It's just, it's a pleasure coming to work every day. Now we go to Mrs. Naomi Radinsky, a very active member of the YBH community. Good evening, Mrs. Radinsky. My question is, do we really need a new principal, or are the kids managing fine the way they are? Not at all, because I think they're, these kids are managing where they are. They're doing really well. The following song is performed by YBH students, and it's an expression of sadness over the news. In case of emergency, there are earplugs under your feet. enjoyed that beautiful performance. The truth is, YBH is a beautiful family, and the following clip shows just that. For YNN, I'm Shia Russell. Until next time, that is, if I don't get fired, thank you for watching. Good evening. <laughs>